Monday, guys. <sighs> this Monday is definitely a lot harder for me than last Monday. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy because last Monday I was like, you know, you gotta have positive vibes and stuff like that. But today, it's just really hard for me to have like positive vibes and feelings coming into work. A, it's raining and I don't do very good with the rain. Like my anxiety just kind of like goes, ah. And it was lightning so bad and so close to the house. Oh my gosh, I did not enjoy that at all while I was trying to get ready for work. Um, I finally was just like so ready to get out of there and my Wi-Fi went out. So I was like, you know what? Screw you like doing our hair, slap a beanie on, even though it's not cold, it's like 62 degrees and we're going to work. So I did. I love beanies. If you have not figured out, I really love beanies. This color makes me think of the Carhartt beanie, beanies, which I absolutely positively love. But this one is a CC one. I did see the other day um, somewhere, it was online, maybe on Facebook or something, that uh, Carhartt has like one of those like green ones. It's kind of like the sea foam green. I want that one so bad. I've got to uh, see if I can find it. Uh, I probably can't. But anyways, so this weekend... Um, this weekend was great. The sip and shop, I mean, it was it was awesome. I had a beautiful balloon garland um, from a local business here. She's new, so I'm helping support her. Not only that, but I really want it because I know we were gonna be taking photos outside with the Grinch. I really wanted something, you know, to, to pop. And I knew the big um, town parade, which I only filmed half of that, not even half of that. Um, my hand got tired, but I knew they were going to be going by the store, so. I just wanted something to kind of stand out and kind of like a little backdrop for the photos. Um, anywho, and Dale, he did such a good deal. Like he was so, oh, my God, he did such a good, like good job. I can't even talk today. <laughs> I've not had enough coffee, but he did so great. He was in that costume all day and like most of the evening. So like he is a troop. But um, anyways, everything went great um, other than a couple of like issues. So one of them, and I don't really talk about this a lot and maybe on some different um, videos I can, but one of the issues, I should say the first issue of the day was there is a competitor across the street um, that has, she, she doesn't own the building, she just kind of has a booth set up in that building. Um, but anyway, she came over and she was just nosing around and I do not like that, I don't appreciate that, um, I try so hard to do my own thing, be original, so forth. But anyway, she came over, um, she took a picture with the Grinch, fine, no problem, she had a little girl, you know, whatever. But she came in and when she came in, she came in when two important people in our town were in, so I kind of felt like she felt like that was her, her opportunity to come in because we were having an event and then two people that are big in our town were in here so she could hopefully just sneak in. Um, Anywho, so that was the first issue. I did not care for that because do not come snooping. You know, like the way I run my business is not going to work for you in the way that you run yours. Um, if you want to have a business, you want to start off, you want to be original, be original. Do you. So anyways, that was the first issue. She didn't buy anything, Avi, um, which is fine. Left. Um, the second issue and the one that probably like rattled me, which makes me not really want to be in here today was um, we had about an hour or so before we closed. Dale was out taking photos with everybody. Um, this car pulls up, this woman and this man get out and they're coming in the door. And about that time, I'm wiping the door handle off with a Clorox wipe and stuff. And um, he was like, you know, hey. And I was like, hey. And um, he was like, you know, we came to shop. Do you have a restroom in there? And I was like, um, sure. I was kind of like a little like, excuse you. Um, but I was like, sure, because it's not too, it's not out of the norm for people to come shop and use our restroom. That's kind of sort of what it's for. Um, I don't let people just come in off the street and use the restroom. But anyways, as I was showing him when the restroom was, uh, his wife, his mom, I'm not sure what she was at this point, um, was up front. All the kids are up here, the twins, so forth. Dell's still taking pictures outside. Anyways, he was like, I drive by uh, all the time, which I don't know if that was true or not, but I was like, he's like, I always wondered what was in here. And so I was like, it's just a boutique. We, we sell clothing. So anyways, he goes and uses the restroom and I'm like, okay, well, maybe they'll, maybe they'll leave. Um, and I don't want this to sound rude. I'm not trying to be judgy, but they really didn't look like boutique shoppers. Um, she was in her pajamas. Okay, but that's not so far and crazy out of the norm because we had the Christmas parade and people, you know, they dress all sorts of ways to watch the Christmas parade. So not really out of the norm. But anyways, he was in the bathroom for a little while 
And then I noticed when he came out of the bathroom, he was kind of stumbling. So long story short, I'm pretty sure he was intoxicated. Um, they were looking around. He was asking me like a million questions about everything. He kept hanging over my door. He was hanging over my counter. He kept calling me honey. He was just so like, what made you want to open up a boutique? He was just very, I don't know, just, just nosy. He was just very nosy and I just didn't care for it. And then the conversations that he was having, it was just kind of like, are you going to buy something or not? Um, telling me about his grandpa and his dad or something used to be a Navy SEAL and um, he had to stitch himself up and he was trying to show me scars that were not there. <laughs> um, it was just a very weird conversation. And um, then like he was vaping in my store, which that's just rude okay like don't I don't care I don't care what your opinion is on it do not vape in my store I don't care if you think it's not like smoking it is blah blah, blah. I don't care okay um, and then he was telling the twins like as he was vaping and I'm like really dude like really you know what I mean you want to say something but you don't want to upset him anywho so um he's like don't start this I'm in trying to quit smoking it's like we we're still smoking but he was like don't start this I've been smoking since I'm nine you know and I was like okay like, uh, thanks for the advice, but they know we've been over this. But it, anyways, it was just kind of like, I don't know. It was just very strange. The way he kept talking and asking a million questions and just being nosy. And then come like the, well, I don't want to say the icing on the cake, but a layer of icing on the cake. He, um, he asked me, he's, uh, he's like leaning over the counter and stuff. And like Preston's over here, Daniel's over there, Riley's sitting on the bench, Brody is in the back, probably eating. <laughs> and he's like, so, um, he gets like really close and he's like, so, um, what's your relation to the Grinch out there? Like, what is he to you? Like, and I was like, that's my husband. And <laughs> he was like, oh, so you guys are like together. And I was like, yeah. We're together these are our kids like you're in our family business like we're married like got a ring been together for a long time um and he's like oh okay and he's like because you're really pretty and it's like thanks you know and um it was just like stuff like that so we kind of tiptoed around that conversation and then he came and he was hanging on the door talking some more and then she came out of the dressing room he kept going in there while she was trying on clothes and like it was just very weird it's like let her try on some clothes but um, he kept going in there and then he like took a candle back there for her to smell. And I was like, dude, she can smell it when she gets out. But the whole conversation was just crazy and awkward. Um, and just little comments that he would make, you know, she was asking me about how something fit and I told her it was a loose fit. Um, I like, you know, a loose fit. And he was like, well, you don't need it. And I'm like, dude, your wife is sitting right here. And I figured out that it was his wife because later he was like, honey, look at this, look at this. And so I figured out it was his wife then. Like I said, I didn't know if she was his wife, his mom, sister, when they came in. Um, so then it's like really weird because then he's like calling her honey a lot. And then I see that he has a wedding ring on. I mean, I wear mine, so you can clearly see I'm married. But it was just really rude to stand there and make a comment in front of your wife, in front of my children, be hitting on me. You know, and there was other things that were said too, and it was just like, dude, like I, I'm, I don't care for you, I don't want you. But um, then Dale finally came in. One of the boys went out there and got him, thank God. And he finally came in, and the dude was like, it was to the point where like he couldn't even really speak well. He was like, you know, take off the mask. And my thoughts are like, why? And oh, and then before he asked me like when the relation to the Grinch and all that stuff. He was like, is that his real gut? And I was like, no, that's a pillow. And he was like, oh, so what does he look like under there? Like, you know, I guess he was trying to match our vibes or something. It don't matter what he looks like. He's my husband. I love him. We have children. Like we got a business together. It doesn't matter. He could be the ugliest dude on the planet. As long as I love him, that's what matters. It doesn't matter about what somebody looks like. It doesn't matter. He treats me well. That's all that matters. I love him. He loves me. End of story. But um, anyway, so he wanted Dell to take the mask off. And so Dell at first was kind of like, you know, no, because he was in character and we still had people that, you know, were walking and getting ready for the parade along the street. And you can clearly see into our building. So he didn't want to take the mask off to ruin the illusion for the children, I understand. But the guy kept on, so he finally did. Um, he shut up, but they were kind of having this like light conversation. And then the gentleman feels the need to like throw it out that he has a gun. Um, like, a, a, I guess, a conceal and carry or whatever. And so, Dale's like, okay. 
you know, and then she comes up here and she's asking me what, um, what I would wear with these pants. And so I told her, I said, I think I just modeled like a tank top and a duster with it. And so the gentleman is over here at my side door. She is right here. And so she's wanting me to leave my area back here to go and show her, um, these tank tops that are in my clothing room. And I told her, I said, it's just in the first clothing room. And she's like, can you show me? So it was just really weird because if I had left back here, she would have been in front of me, he would have been in back of me, and my door is right there, so therefore they could have sandwiched me and run out the door, you know? So it was just very weird and awkward, and they were wanting to know like what my hours were, how often I was here, how often I worked. Like, it was just very strange. I got very bad energy from them. Um, I really hope they do not come back, but, it kind of alarmed me too because I was telling them that the Christmas parade was about to start soon, that they might want to, because they had parked out front, that they might want to um, hurry up because like they just kept talking and talking, um, asking me all these questions. And they're like, oh, there's a Christmas parade tonight. And I was like, yeah, it starts here shortly. I think they're going to be closing off the streets. Like y'all, y'all better skedaddle. You know, I was trying to be nice, like skedaddle. Who says skedaddle? Okay. But I was nervous. I was just like, okay, let's go. Um, anywho, so then they're talking about they're not from around here, that they actually drove from, I think they said Millport, which was kind of like, you drove from Millport to my store, like, you know what I mean? And then you're asking me all these questions and stuff. It was just very, it was very weird. It was very uncomfortable. Um, they were just rude in front of my children. They were, they were disrespectful to me, just with the way that they acted, the questions that they asked, stuff like that. Like, there was more that went with it, but I don't have time to just kind of, go into the full conversation in detail but uh, let me tell you though let me just tell you girls like if you work by yourself if you have a store or whatever and there's people around me but you know it's still alarming um but if you feel uncomfortable you know you need to have a friend a backup somebody that even a code word that you can just be like you know text it to them say it have some type of a plan um you know, just in case something was to happen because people are so crazy now that it just, and I mean, they have been before, but it seems like it's just even more, you, you hear about it and see it so much more um, now, but always have like a safety plan, a backup plan, you know, an exit strategy, something, always carry something that, you know, if, if you were in danger that hopefully you could buy a few minutes, whether it's, you know, a stun gun, some pepper spray, you know, you, a conceal and carry something of that nature um, but always just be aware because I, I how I got out of the whole I'm not supposed to leave behind the counter even though it is my store was that I mean that's what I told them and because um, he tried to get me to go back there with him for a shirt that was hanging on the wall and so I played dumb and I was like um if you could just like bring it to me I was not about to leave here where everybody was in the door when him and her were back there um, for this shirt. Like, I don't care about the sale. I don't care about how much money, you know, I, I was not going to give up my safety or leave my children unattended to, to go back there. So I am very weird when people ask me to leave behind my counter, um, to go somewhere with them. Cause it's like, what are your true intentions? Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it just, it, it kind of ruined my, my vibe and it upset me a lot from what they were saying. Um, and doing because it was like you're in my store and and she wasn't any better I mean, I, I feel bad because it's like well if you're married and he's hitting on somebody right in front of you That's just rude AF, but it was just I don't know It was enough that it just really bothered me and it kind of ruined my evening because then it made me think of all these things that like Could have happened. Thank God didn't happen But and then courses of action that I do need to take um, in preparation if something like that should happen but that can happen anywhere. You can be in, you know, Target. You could be, you know, in Walmart, anywhere. Um, and people, people will do that because I, even like me, I go to Walmart, you know, on a weekly base, basis, you know, by myself with people, stuff like that. And it never fails. I always get some, some kind of incident that happens or goes down in there. So ugh, you could be literally anywhere, even in the dollar store. Okay. But um, definitely be aware of your surroundings. And when people are asking you questions, they either come off too friendly or some of them, they're not friendly. Because at first he was very friendly and then he started kind of getting, it seemed like aggravated and aggressive because I kept trying to be nice and handle, like I didn't want to say or do anything to, to piss him off. 
because I could tell that he was kind of getting aggravated and I don't know why he was getting aggravated. Um, I guess because I wouldn't leave back here and go back there with them. So I'm not really sure, or maybe I was just answering the questions too perfect, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so anyways, just definitely be aware and especially around the holidays, um, cause people are, you know, they're, they're getting, they're getting hungry, so to speak. Um, so yeah, but anyways, that's my little story. It just kind of, uh, it kind of ruined my little vibe, but maybe not want to be here today, but I'm here. Um, so, but yeah, anyways, that's my little story time, but I hope you guys had a, a great weekend, but I did want to just kind of give you girls like a little, uh, PSA, just, you know, be aware of your surroundings and your people because, you know, people are just crazy nowadays, literally. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here so I can start uh, my vlog and open the store for the day. But I just want to make a quick little video just to let you girls know, you know, be safe out there. So I will end this and I will see you in the vlog.